Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. And today I'm going to show you a prompt database that is going to eventually accelerate your prompt crafting in Midjourney 4. And of course, this is on jithub.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can navigate through. And these are all the prompt categories. And I'm going to highlight some of those categories also, which is going to eventually help you quite a lot. So the first one is the themes. And we got like realistic, abstract. Here we got like realistic, hyper-realistic, hyper-real, photorealistic prompts that eventually is going to boost your photos to become a little bit more realistic looking. But Midjourney 4 already does the photos pretty real realistically and achieves these sort of results even without typing in those. Next, we have design styles. What I want to highlight here is the simplicity versus complexity. So you can do it simple and you have details and you have hyper detailed or you also can use the intricate detailed and on the opposite side, you have minimalist. Next, we have the patterns. Check this out. We got half tone patterns as well. You can implement half tones on your portraits. Seems to work pretty good. And there's also the damask pattern. How good this thing looks. And it's symmetric. It doesn't seem to have any flaws on it. We got the Memphis pattern. Wow. It's more like a neo pop art looking illustration pattern. Next, we have the digital and here we have the rendering engines, which is super important. A lot of times I use the octane render. You, you can type in octane or you can type in octane render and it's going to bring you like incredible results. You got like Cine 40, C40, Unreal Engine and a lot more rendering engine. Let me see. Look at that. You get also ZBrush and Sketchfab. Wow. What else? Oh yeah, we got the resolution, 4K, 8K, 32K, HD. And you also have in the opposite side, the byte map. You got from one byte to 16 byte. And it's gonna bring you like these pixelated results. Next, artists. This is really impressive. We got surrealism that I liked a lot. And then we got pop art. I can need to experiment with this one. It looks amazing and Baroque, beautiful. Next, we have the lighting. This is also pretty important. You got like lighting styles and techniques. We got illuminated, illumination, studio lighting, cinematic lighting. These are all really good. You got also the volumetric lighting. This also brings really good results. A Rembrandt lighting. Next, we have the camera, film and lenses, camera and scenes. We got filmic, cinematic, dramatic. These are also very important. It's going to set the model into a really dreamy atmosphere. Look at this award winning photography. Again, these are really good. Let's see. We have film sizes, of course. We got like shot on eight millimeter. These are like wide angle lenses versus 35 starts to get more portrait looking as and the 65 is also already portrait. And then the 70 is like a close up portrait. Beautiful. And then we got the macros as you saw before. It just does incredible results. And there's another bonus in the geometric shapes. We got the 3D shapes. You scroll down and you find the rectangular prism. That looks pretty decent. And this was it. Hope it helped and thanks for watching.